Mic check, Tessa. <laughs> you think you're a radio host? <laughs> Mic check. Um, just want to kick it off and uh, thank everyone for being here this morning. Um, it's the first day of real work, first day of, you know, really why we're all here. Uh, super excited to get this thing started. It's been a long off offseason, uh, nonstop, you know, rolling for us ever since we got here. And now that we got all 91 guys here and our full coaching staff here, it's, you know, it's fun. Um, you know, we met with the team yesterday and, you know, the way these guys showed up and the way they handled the conditioning test, you know, each and every player uh, shows their commitment um, to not only their teammates, but our organization and the vision that Mike has. Um, before we kick off, uh, something that I haven't done yet um, that I want to take the time to do um, is thank the scouting staff. Um, you know, we, we get us three up here, you know, we get a lot of the credit for things and a lot of the hate for some things. Um, but we have a tremendous staff. We have uh, men and women that give us their all and they help make our jobs easy and when it comes to uh, making decisions. So I want to thank uh, Vin Marino. Uh, Vin's done a really good job for us. Um, and, you know, I refer to all of us as the odd couple, you know, with Vin. And uh, Vin is a, is a strong and uh, solid voice for us when it comes to player, um, player values and getting these contracts done. So I want to thank Vin, uh, Brian Gardner, uh, John Salgi, uh, Kevin Turks, uh, Mike Bonney, uh, Dale Thompson, Brandon Taylor, uh, Bryce Wasserman, Casey Callahan, uh, Patrick Calloway, uh, TJ Early, Matt Miller, Tom Roth, Wes Slay, uh, Max Curtis, uh, Rob Ritterer, uh, Patrick Wu, Corey Cooper, uh, Michael Johnson, uh, Adam Bondi, uh, Matt Emerito, and we also have um, uh, two, well, three new additions. Uh, Sarah Bailey, who will be our Director of Football Research and Development, uh, so she'll be working with Chad. Um, Ali Archer, who will be our uh, Amy Adams Strunk Women in Sports intern. And then we have uh, former Titan Kaylin Reed here doing the Nun Wooten um, uh, internship. And um, last but not least for me is uh, Max Curtis. Um, Max, is uh, he's been my right hand ever since I got here. He's helped keep me organized from a life standpoint, uh, from a work standpoint, and we're looking to grow Max's role, you know, not only in, you know, helping me and assisting me, but growing him uh, in terms of uh, his evaluations um, as a scout. And then finally, uh, these two knuckleheads to my left and right, uh, Chad, whom you guys have met, and Anthony Robinson, who you guys will get to know here shortly. Um, you know, I have history with Anthony. You know, we started our careers together um, in Atlanta. Um, so I was super pleased and excited to be able to get him and steal him from Atlanta. And then you guys know my affinity for Chad and what he brings. Um, so with that, we'll kick it off. So like we said, um, Sarah will be leading um, our research and development, AKA analytics. Uh, she'll be leading that for us um, and talking about some of the things that, uh, you know, when we first met, uh, when Chad met with you guys, some of the things uh, just in terms of creating models, you know, that allow us, that gives us another way to evaluate players. Um, Chad, you can kind of go into a little bit more specific, but she'll be adding an extra component for us to make sure we're seeing these players the right way. Yeah, I think uh, we're, we're building a foundation right now in that department. And, and the most important piece of that foundation is, is the people. And we had an opportunity to um, check around the league and, and get recommendations uh, for that role through the contacts that we had. And Sarah came highly recommended. I mean, she spent uh, a little over five years with the Los Angeles Rams. As you know, they won the Super Bowl there. Uh, she was a Division One track athlete. She's got an undergraduate degree in, in mathematics, a uh, master's degree in statistics. And when she came in here and through, through her interview process, she just uh, she knocked it out of the park. Uh, she was really, really, really dynamic, um, very smart. And I know she's going to be a major asset to us moving forward. And, and I feel really good about where we are heading. Now, this, this department is going to continue to grow. Uh, we got a plan on how we're going to build this out. And it'll be under uh, Sarah's leadership. And, and also, obviously, I'll be uh, very involved in there as well. How 
do you want to make sure and, and use analytics? Is it just uh, you know at, at across the board, you know, helping identify uh, people for ready list during the season, identify guys for the draft of, uh, and through the free agency and uh, as, you know on the field as well? Uh, all of the above. Uh, and we're going to use it. And I mean, Sarah and I and and, and uh, Allie's coming in to help us a little bit too. Uh, we're going to be creating tools. It's a tool uh, that that we're going to use to help with the coaching staff. To help with the personnel staff, help with the salary cap, sports science, medical. Uh, it's, we're just creating tools and, and to help us to make uh, better decisions, more informed decisions. Um, like I said, it's going to be a process, and, and we, we, we do have some tools in place, uh, and we'll continue to build upon those. Brent, what was the process like in your mind in acquiring DeAndre Hopkins, and how did you make it finally get the word he was coming to play? It was a long date. <laughs> it was a month long date. Um, <laughs> You know, like you, you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know, um, we brought him in for the visit, uh, which I felt went uh, really well. And, um, you know, I just, uh, it was, like I said, it was just a long date. And while we're on it, um, it was uh, from top to bottom. It wasn't just us and personnel. It wasn't just Mike with the coaches. But we had help throughout the building. Um, Jahari Matthews, um, Amy, um Tina Tuggle, everybody played a part in getting him here, right? Because it wasn't just making sure DeAndre knew that this was the best place. It was also making his family know that this was the best place. So we didn't only recruit him, we recruited his family. Um, so when he came in and he had his family here with him, we made sure they got to see what the city of Nashville had to offer, you know, because they're going to be more involved with the city um, as opposed to him. And so we um, – rolled it out and let them see. And so, you know, thank you to those people uh, that I mentioned and thank you to the city of Nashville for stepping up and showing out for us. Well, I mean, again, and, uh, you know, it all comes down to the player and their wiring. And I think, uh, I think Hop is made of all the right stuff. Um, you know, I know a couple guys that trained with him, you know, and so that's a part of it, using your contacts. And each and every one of those guys were like, this dude still has it, you know, and now we hope we get to see that, and I believe that we will. Um, I think you guys saw, you know, when you met with him yesterday, you know, his laser focus um, and where he's at, and I think he feels he has something to prove. I mean, um, yeah, I think we have a roster that will compete. Um, again, it all starts today, you know, on the field. And something I kind of said from, from the get-go, you know, we don't have to set the 53 until, you know, um, September. So we'll continue to work, you know, and continue to, um, you know, look to add players. We've already brought players in for workouts and tryouts that, you know, we identified that can help, you know, make a competitive roster. And that's what we're always looking to do is build a competitive roster. So um, we are where we are now, but we're not, we're not done. Well, that's just a part of it. You know, you got to kind of deal with what you're dealt. You know, um, when uh, MPF's, you know, suspension came, you know, we felt like we have have guys here um, that can step in and compete. And, again, it's, it's all about creating competition at every position. You know, so we'll continue to look, you know, at that spot. Um, and hopefully our guys here step up. You know, again, it's, it's about building, you know, the best 53 that's going to give us a chance to win every week. What do you think is your mom towards that? Yeah, I mean, we brought George in to get a look at him, and that was the extent of it, you know. And Sorry, what do you think Jamarco? I mean, Jamarco's played a lot of ball in this league. He has versatility, uh, which is, you know, key for the O-line. You know, the the name of the game is getting the best, you know, seven to eight guys active on game day that could do a bunch of things for you. So, you know, Jamarco's been in there some, um, playing some right tackle, and so we, we're confident in him. Anthony, what's your philosophy of, of Scouting, how do you evaluate your scouts? What, what do you most want from them? 
think the first thing is you want guys that like playing football, right? Um, and the first thing for us is the people. You know, they're for their football players, they're people. And we want to make sure that we're bringing in the right people that have the right football character and what we're trying to build here in our culture and our organization. How, how would you, Anthony, describe the relationship with Rand before you got here and what's the process been like in kind of getting up to speed with this roster while continuing to do your job uh, with the players throughout the league? Yeah, so like Rand said before, we started together in Atlanta back in 2008. We actually walked in the building together. Um, and from there, we just developed a relationships. You know, our families are close. You know, his daughters grew up with my daughters. Um, you know, so we, we've kept that bond throughout, you know, the change. You know, I've been in Atlanta the entire time. He's, you know, been a few stops before getting here. But we made a conscious effort to maintain that relationship. Um, and I think when you're coming into an organization and you're coming in new, you want to bring in people that you trust, going to be able to do the job, you know, execute the vision. Um, and, of course, it helps when you have that friendship and that, um, you know, that relationship. Chad, is there anything in, in terms of maybe analytically speaking, in terms of DeAndre that, that maybe you guys saw in the last year that you like particularly that, that said maybe you still had a, a highly productive yeah, I think it's important, uh, you know, <clears throat> with my background with the scouting and, and, and also cap and, and analytics, like it, all of it goes into the decision making. And uh, I think it's important that we all understand it all goes back to the tape. That's where it all starts and that's where it all ends. And, and Hop is a proven player in this league. We all know that. Um, of course, yeah, we looked at the analytics. I had Sarah run analytics on him and, and what that looked like and how, how what his rim pop probability is on the field and, you know, how productive he is. And we looked at the GPS and all the things that go with it. Yeah, sure, that's all part of the, the process. But at the end of the day, we get together with as scouts. We, we evaluate the tape. We get with Coach Mike and his staff. Um, you know, we're really excited to have him here. I mean, he's a great player. Um, when he was out there last year, uh, for the time he was out there, he's still making plays. Uh, he, has a, he has a lot of ability. Uh, he's going to continue to do good things for us. We're excited to have him. Hold on real quick. You guys can ask Chad scouting questions, too. He's not just <laughs> analytics <laughs> and computer. He can, he can answer the scouting questions, too. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the season look like for you as far as a scouting standpoint and, uh, as you're working with the group? Uh, well, the you know that is my foundation uh, is is scouting. I was very fortunate uh, to come from a scout driven organization in Green Bay. Um, you talk around the league, many people will tell you that's probably one of the the best scouting organizations in the National Football League. You look how many general managers they produced since Ron Wolf worked for all those guys, John Schneider to um, John Dorsey to Reggie McKenzie. You know, with Brian, you know, Ted Thompson is a huge mentor of mine, Russ Ball on the cap side, come from a great organization, a great foundation, and that is the foundation to, to, uh, uh, to why Rand brought me in to, in adding these other pieces. But as far as my fall, you know, the way that's going to look or my role, it's, it's a really great thing that I have Vin here. Uh, Vin's a seasoned veteran. Uh, I really trust him. Uh, he knows the cap inside and out. He's probably forgotten more cap than I even know. Uh, so it's, I have someone I can trust as well as having Sarah Bailey here uh, to be able to lead a department on the, on the analytics side. So I'm really excited to have her, so that'll free me up to allow me to go out in the fall and, and evaluate prospects. So um, I just told A-Rob, hey, just tell me who you want me to go see, and I'll go see him and give my evaluation. So I'm excited about being able to do that as well. Ray, did you talk to Derek at all about what went on in that running back summit Zoom thing? It was kind of how much have you been following the talk around the league about running back? Yeah, no, nah, that's none of my business. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I I haven't talked to Derek, you know, about that. You know, um, as a former running back, I'm I'm biased. I know Chad is a former running back. He's biased as well. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's something that, uh, you know, those players are going to have to continue to do whatever it is they do or they're doing um, to figure out what's best for them. But to answer your question, I hadn't talked to Derek about it. How do you feel about this? I mean, again, I, I feel like for where we are right now, um, I think we have quality depth, you know, all the way around. But, you know, like I'll continue to say, we're going to always continue to look to improve it uh, and always continue to look to add competition at each and every spot. Do you have certain positions where you kind of want to see what you've got in young guys and then potentially could make a move midway through camp or into camp to bolster spots? Or uh, how much of camp is about feeling 
good about what you have and then decide whether you're going to go get something else. Yeah, I don't think we're going in at a mind frame of, you know, let's see what position X has, you know, for the first week. And if it's not there, then let's move on. I think some of these young guys that have come in, um, I think they've earned, you know, the opportunity to compete. Um, and show what they have, and we know that that's going to be, you know, a process. Some of these, you know, kids, are, this is their first time around. Um, you know, none of these rookies have ever been in full pass in the NFL setting. So um, that'll work itself out. Uh, and, again, you know, with A-Rob, with, with Chad, and, you know, our whole staff, we're going to continue to monitor, you know, players as they come free. Um, and, again, we have the 53-man roster cut down, which is going to, you know, be a – wild and crazy time, you know, with all those players coming free and take advantage of our order and the claim. I know it's early, but with the third quarterback situation, weighing that against a sixth receiver or a fifth safety or whatnot, how tough is it to weigh that value, you know, for some of those final rounds? I don't think it's tough. I think it's one of those things where, you know, I think every team in the league, because it's a new rule, I think every team in the league is going to weigh that, um, you know, and it's a, it's a puzzle. Is playing with pieces. You know, uh, one thing I learned from Kyle Shanahan, it's not always a one-for-one. One. You know, you're not going to cut a receiver for a receiver. You know, adding a receiver may cost you a DB or it may cost you a D lineman. You know, our job is to put the best 53 and not necessarily we have to have X amount at this position. So we're going to build the best 53 and just go from there. What changed in terms of going back to Kevin Byron and getting him to rework his deal in order to help bring DeAndre Hopkins on board? I think KB is the consummate pro. Um, you guys know KB, you know, better than, than I have because you've been around him a lot longer. Um, when I think of KB, I think of, you know, just professionalism, a guy who puts his team first, um, a guy that's all about his team. And we're very appreciative um, of his willingness to work with us, you know, to restructure his deal that, gives us, that gave us the space um, and room to sign Hop. Well, again, you know, it wasn't just myself. Mike's my partner. You know, we do everything together. Um, you know, there won't be a player that we bring in that we're all in agreement on, you know, that can help us. Um, again, I've always said, like, I feel like I'm in a very unique position coming in as a first-time GM and having someone as established as Mike, you know, in here already. And so it's a, a culture um, and what it means to be a Titan, what it looks like. You know, and for me and these guys, because so, we're all new, we're just coming in following the, the blueprint, you know, knowing what it is that we're looking for, uh, which makes it easy. Um, you know, we have, you know, vets at key spots, you know, that have been very productive, you know, in this league. And, you know, we're just not in the business of giving away good football players. It's no different from any other player. Improve. You know, improve, play fast, um, you know, and be ready when your name is called. It's really as simple as that. We're not putting any more pressure on Will than we would put on, you know, Peter or, um, you know, anyone else, you know, for that matter. It's the name of the game is coming in, being able to play fast, execute your assignment, and do it to the best of your ability. And when it comes to the Hassan Haskins situation, you guys let the, everything play out legally before any kind of a decision is made or, or – can you make any kind of decision before, you know, if you feel like you have enough information? I think as a whole, as an organization, um, you know, we have our core philosophy and beliefs. And it's a, you know, situation that we take very, very seriously. Um, but also, you know, we have to let due process run its course. And we have to gather, you know, all the facts. You know, it's not as, you know, we're playing with people's lives here. You know, and so in order to do so, I, I feel like we – you know, have to have all the facts before we make a decision, and that's our approach. Um, you know, we've been in, in contact with Hassan, you know, throughout this process, and, you know, we'll continue to let the process run its course, and from there we'll make a decision. Guys good? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.